over the course of months of hard labor, effort, and time put into this build, the tower has been an icon over the Mochar server, visible for thousands of meters, built by one person with the help of a couple people supplying its resources. The build has been taking shape, but its lack of progress has left it neglected for weeks, flustered to the point where most people had forgotten about it. But he did not give up, as he spent days working on it through the night. He was confident. The build and its creator is seeing its final steps toward its completion as Rules Tower. Hello everyone, Alex Rules 237 here back for another Minecraft video on the Mocharve server. Dramatic intro aside, we're not actually going to be working on Rules Tower whatsoever in this episode. In fact, I probably shouldn't be looking at it after the more than three hours of live streaming I did all this week long on it. But, exciting news. Today, the day of recording right now, is October 1st, the first day of October. That's important because my birthday is Thursday on October 5th. And if you've been watching my videos since I started or you just like going back to the old videos when I still had the survival series... You'll know that that is my birthday. And if you've been watching the live streams, especially toward the end, which probably a lot of you haven't yet, um, I, I did mention some birthday presents that I'm planning on getting. Now, I know that sounds like, Alex, you have like a bad relationship with your parents, you're forcing them to get stuff. No. There's a lot I've been going on, and a lot that I've been doing that... I think it's time to settle in and I'm getting a new computer. I'm going to probably release a video shortly about it. I'm done using my laptop. I've been using it for about a year and for Minecraft it runs pretty good. Right now I'm running 70-80 frames a second especially when I'm recording but editing videos especially one like the fork that takes so much space and you know the low amount of memory I have that it's time for a bit of an upgrade, plus I want to do more than Minecraft, like really badly. I tried to do other games, especially on my Xbox. I, I, I should probably do a lot more on the Xbox, which I'm planning on doing, but anyway, we're on the Mocharv server. We're not going to be working on the Rules Tower, we're going to be working on a new tunnel. I've already dug this tunnel, and this is going to be, uh, well, this tunnel is like the gray line. It's going to still be the gray line. The gray line is gonna, probably going to be the uh, longest railway line because that's just what it is. I still haven't come, came up with a color scheme for uh, Rules Tower. It's probably going to be yellow. It can't be red or blue. Um, it could be green, but it's probably going to be yellow, and that's why I haven't done this yet. I'm still really thinking. Um, the reason why we can't do blue is because this is the gray line, ugh, but it breaks off into the blue line, and I already see you, creeper. Yeah, no, um, my computer is running smoothly. The day after the live streams, I'm done all my live streams. Of course, my computer is running fine. Why am I burping a lot? My computer is running fine. I'm going to quickly run through this tunnel that I have, tunnel system. But yeah, pretty running pretty good, and I do have a lot of other applications open too. It was not OBS that was causing my system to lag. It really wasn't. Uh, I tested that. Anyway... This line is the gray line. It's going to be circling around the entire spawn town, a little bit of spawn town. But the reason why we're going over here is because, where is it? It's right here. It breaks off into the blue line, which is this. And the blue line is an astonishing this long. <laughs> it's probably going to break off into here. But this is going to be like its own separate, uh, smaller railway station, kind of like the one inside Rules Tower, kind of like this. Uh, you can get in and out, and you can go either directions. But this is the blue line because this is the line that goes into Alex's base, and his favorite color is blue, and mine is too. But uh, he had his color scheme is blue. His skin is blue. Uh, he used to have blue wool here. Yeah, uh, he does. Um, I don't know what he did with it, but. So it's going to be the blue line, and should work out fine. I did ask him, don't worry, I did ask him if I could 
do this even though he's been on in a bit. He said, yeah, it's perfectly fine, so awesome. Uh, I am going to add stairway here and, you know, make this look better, and especially this. Let's get to digging. So I'm on my way back now to get some more stone brick because I ran out of a bit. It is taking shape, it is taking form, it, it, at this point it really does not take too much. I just realized I was there. At this point it really doesn't take too much time to do it. You dig a hole and then you place the uh, respective amount of blocks And Oh yeah, uh, I do realize that my sea lantern has been replaced with glowstone. The sea lantern that I that ooh, wrong way. The sea lantern that I worked very hard to get, um, I, I don't know who really did it. I mean, I, I have some some ideas of who could have done it. Uh, it could have been anyone, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, it, it really... I, I really don't know. Also, one of the benefits of digging these tunnels is that you get a lot of cobblestone out of them. 
And cobblestone is kind of um, a value on the Mochar server. Why can't I go through the door? It, it, cobblestone is not as common as the Mochar server as you may think. Uh, the, there's been a shortage recently in f uh, that uh, the people have seemingly uh, lost cobblestone. I mean, at Kevin's base, he had a ton of cobblestone and it's gone. And uh, at, at the uh, at the this quarry base kind of thing over here, there's a lot of cobblestone. It's gone. So I, I don't know where all the cobblestone went. Uh, someone could have taken them. It could have been uh, could have been Kevin who took his and used it for something. It could have been. It really could have been anyone. You know, another again. I really don't know who could have been. Could have been innocently, or could have been just because they were being a jerk. But yeah, no, it, it can't be any. It, I don't. I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. So with that all done, we need to start working on these train stations. I mean, all that there really are is just a hole in the ground without any indication what it is until you go down and do it and, you know, get into it, whatever. So we need these, we need to build like these railway stations. So I need to come up with a design for that. But first, the ticket booths. I have two machines here, this one being the first one. I it says one iron for two tickets. Um, I designed this like a probably around a month ago, so I don't know how it would give you. I think it, it does give you two. I know that. Um. Anyway, um, yeah. So one iron for two tickets. It is. I I think it it's a rip off, and that's coming from me. But you'd be surprised how many people use these. Yeah, uh, use the railway. So. Especially all the uh, time and effort I put into it. If I if I give it give it a get, yeah, gives you two, two tickets. So now I have two tickets. Uh, they're they're named like that. Um, so people just don't put paper in there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to assume that I'm gonna like replace these often so people can't like forge their own or whatever. Uh, but it is named like ticket and it's just a bunch of little numbers. Anyway, so we take this over onto here and this is the actual gate. So one ticket equals entry. So if I pass on a ticket, then this opens and you go over the pressure plate and that closes. And then this leads you to the train station. You can spend however long you want down there. You can even have a party down there if you want to. This system right here just makes it so only one person can get in no matter how hard you try. Uh, I have tried I have tested that out. Whoa, that lag spike. I had tested that out, and, it, and I, we have not gotten so far to actually uh, have two people to go through it. Uh, then you have where the tickets come through, and then you have where the iron comes through. It's very, very basic. We're going to build this after we build the station. But first, we need to build the station. Oh, I am really, really, really debating right now. All right, so the goal is I, I kind of want it to look like this shape. Uh, I'm trying like a million different like things like to replace this granite here. And I tried this, which does not look good. I tried spruce wood, which does not look good. And I'm trying, uh, I'm trying the granite that doesn't look good. I don't know. I like I'm scrolling through here, so think to myself, there's not much I can use. You can't use wool. I mean, we could use some of this terracotta, but we have to be careful because there's like. There's, remember the lines are also colored terracotta, so we can't use the same one because uh, the stations are going to be lined with these, with, with like what color they represent. So like the red line at the mini games area help, would have this red band. Uh, the normal one, the gray line would have this, you know, stone going here. So I really don't know if I'm going to pick terracotta. I'm not going to get like this colored anything colored. I do not want to go with anything gray. Okay, like I was going to go with some, you know, stone brick and boom. Everything, as in 80% of Spawn Town, is gray stone. And it, it I wanted to add some sort of color. And I just can't find, I mean, this, I, I haven't tested that out. But even if it looked good or not, there's no way I'm going to be able to get a bunch of it. Um, Like, I could go with light gray. That looks okay. I could go with normal gray. I could go with, no, not white. Uh, but I don't want to get anything colored. I want to, like, because that's going to take too much time. I don't have dye. I, I just want a color of terracotta that I can go to Holden's base and mine from the, uh, biome. I mean, it's definitely smaller. Um, I, I don't know how I like these ends here of the wood. Uh, 
You know, it, it looks big because of the of the wood here. Um, in space isn't all that of an issue. Uh, in the uh, on the red line station, it's definitely not. But I mean, like, I'm worried about the spawn town one. The spawn town one, we're gonna have to do a lot of terraforming. Um, but th this is smaller. Uh, you can tell because the doorway is smaller. I don't have no idea what the floor is gonna be, and the roof is just gonna be. It's not. I. You know what? I, I was just gonna put like a cobblestone ceiling, but it could. It could just be that. It looks good like that. Alrighty. Um. I do have the, uh, you know, the actual building itself complete, the roof, everything, except for the inside, really, um, I really don't know what I want to do with the floor, maybe I can do the granite or the diorite, or maybe even the andesite in here, who knows, uh, the machine, it's gonna be a bit different for each station because of the way that I had to build the building, um, the machines, the ticket machine is gonna be right here, um, this is the staircase going down, which I already have going down, into our existing railway and it's gonna be here now uh, if you it used to be like be a little staircase right here it is now here I can get rid of this and I'm not okay at the end there well at the end near there you know how I have like the red line coming in and you can switch the lever like where do you want to go I'm not gonna have that here I'm just gonna have this and you know have the other rail line going and it's gonna be all good with this uh, mostly because this is like the main central kind of station the gray lines the main ones like the longest one throughout the whole Mocharv server and I really wanted to mention that in the last clip um th that I want this to be like probably like a couple extra blocks bigger because of that but I just did not have that room I really didn't and I can get rid of this now because I do not need you goodbye it doesn't look like a gaping hole anymore um I could have like shifted it over this way a little bit landscape a bit more like a bit probably like right behind that chicken thing and then back a teen a bit more but you know I'm not I'm, that's too much work yeah ha, like all right yeah no I have an idea have the act the ticket machine there and the crap the mouse and the gate like right right here that would be decent I'm just gonna build the floor and the and I don't know I'm not gonna build a ticket machine I'm just gonna build the floor and build the ticket machine and the gate off camera uh it is raining out and that's why i'm lagging a bit so yeah that that, that is the progress i have um yeah uh what we're gonna do next is build the floor and oh. yeah what we're gonna do next we're gonna we're okay we're gonna build the floor the ticket machine and possibly the gate uh we might i'm probably not gonna get to the red line station in this video but I'll try, so let's go. Gray line, station A1 is complete. Well, all right, no, not complete. All right, for the floor, um, it, it's stone, I know. I know what I said. I'm actually going to do this. The color of the ground is going to be the same color as the line, so I use stone for the gray line, and the red line is going to be, hey, guess what, red. I know I that that's literally all I did. Uh, you know, building's finished, uh, floor's finished. I didn't do anything down here, and I'm probably just gonna make the the stairway look pretty, and that's probably about it. Uh, I'm not going to build the ticket machine or the gate today. Maybe not even the next episode, because uh, I was thinking I want to change. I want to change it a little. I was thinking one diamond for two tickets. That means you can go two times. You gotta remember that rules tower is connected to it, and my base is connected to it. And I don't want to pay one iron every other time I want to go to my base. I mean, I could fly there, but I mean, I worked hard on this, and you know, stuff. You know, I, I want to use it. So I'm I'm probably gonna do one iron for eight. Um, pretty much use the same exact uh mechanism as this thing over here, which is broken, by the way. Um. Yeah, one, oh, so it's, it's one diamond for 16 ender pearls, but, uh, I, just because I added a couple more dispensers, yeah, no, so I can, like, just add, you know, uh, eight, and it should be good, um, because I, that's a much better price, and people are going to buy it a lot more. So I'm actually on my way to Holden's base right now to get some more materials, um, you know, more of the tan, uh, no, what was it, it was like light gray terracotta, and also red terracotta. Why is there a Oh! Oh, okay, that's smart. Holden must have put redstone on the line so the zombie pigmen won't. 
um, spawn on it anymore. Cause that that was a bit annoying. But yeah, um, I'm getting red terracotta and I'm getting the sight, uh, the dark, no, what was it? the light gray terracotta. Uh, I don't, I'm not spending a dime on on any materials, which is kind of cool. Um, uh, how how are we gonna do this? Um, I do know the Mo Sheriff server has been a lot laggy recently, and this is why I, I'm recording this little clip right here, which is why I'm just I'm just kind of tapping on the W. Um, and I, I'm going to explain that in a couple reasons. One, um, this, this is Holden's bridge to get to his base. Um, and if I, like, hold down W, oh, well, he didn't finish the redstone line, obviously. Okay, uh, usually I kill it, but what Holden, because, you know, that's what you do about Holden, does breaks the boat and does, alright, um, no, it has been laggy. If I hold, if I hold W down and just do it normally, see, I glitch, I sort of glitch, and that's not necessarily lag, uh, I mean, yeah, some some of it is, but that is because there's like a thing on the server, and I do not know. I, I do not know how to get rid of it. You probably can't. And if you move too quickly, then it's like a kind of a warning. And I know this because for some reason there's a scoreboard called warning. Like uh, I can't show you now, but um, there's a scoreboard called warning. I'm like what the heck is that? And that's because of this um. This is moving too quickly, and I can't get rid of it. And when you're in a boat, you're obviously moving way too quickly. But also because you got to remember that it's a server that's running off of my computer, and it, it's a it's a high it's a high end server, sort of. Oh crap! So it, it you know even it's a laptop, so even when I close it, it runs a lot crappier, and that that affects a lot of people, especially holding it goes. Are you serious? The item teleport out, oh, whatever. Uh, the yeah, it travels a long distance, and freaking Luke has to travel halfway across the world. But you know, it, it's all good. So I just want to clear that out. Yes, I do know this no trip server has been lagging a lot, and it has been sort of fixed. The official red line station is now complete. Um, all right, I'm going to address something real quick. Now it says station B1, and the one in uh, Spawn Town says station A1. All right. Um, basically, what the, that's gonna mean is, gray line is gonna be A. So there's gonna be like a multiple gray line stations. So it'll be like A two and A three because gray line is most likely gonna be the longest line. Uh, red line is probably gonna be the only one. I mean, red line is kind of, kind of can probably converge with another one. So and there might be one or it might be the other one. I really don't know. Um, it's not the end of this video, however. Uh, we are not going to be working on the uh, ticket booth or the um, gate because I'm still really, really debating about what I should do. Uh, I got a few more ideas that I'm going to ask next episode because I'm just going to forget about it for now. What we're going to do right now is we're going to try to make this look pretty. I don't know if you've ever been in a subway or train station before. I have once. Uh, it was nothing as small as this, though. But we're going to try to make it look good because I don't think there's dirt in it. Um. I do not have a plan about it at all. We're just going to get a couple blocks, maybe for my inventory stone brick. Seems good. <laughs> I don't know. So let's go. A few moments later. Four. All right, let's have, we only have two stations right now. So let's only make, let's only have five for each. And... Turn the turn these in the back in the blocks. Yeah, okay. Th this will be good for now. And go to sleep. All right. <coughs> this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to um, do the same thing that I just did with this, the uh, gray line station. Oh, for God's sakes. And I think I'm just gonna end out the video there. Uh, I don't know. I, I, yeah. I guess, because I, I really don't know what else to do too much. Yeah, I, I'm i going to do the same thing with the other station. I'll be right back. Gray Line Station has now been finished-ished. It, it didn't pin, I don't know. It's not finished. Um, I just realized that I haven't even done the uh, Rules Tower um, Rail Line Station yet, but it, it's all good. It will become done at some point.
That is the end of this video, guys. Uh, I did realize that I did absolutely nothing for the, the uh, actual staircase here. Uh, it will be fixed. Hopefully, yeah, it will be fixed. It won't take much at all. I'm planning on just replacing all the stone because that's the easiest block. And I know you're going to be complaining. Well, uh, hello, why couldn't you just buy everything from Holden Shop? Whoa, Cyan is popular. Why couldn't you buy everything from Holden Shop? Well, I was thinking about it, but... All the colors that I'm using is mineable, so I, I get it for free. But, you know, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I did have my eyes. I don't think he has it. No, I did have my eyes on the purple terracotta. Um, Because the glazed version kind of looks like a uh, nether portal, if you, if you really look at it. And I was thinking on my nether portals that I'm planning on building to put purple uh, glazed terracotta behind it so it looks better but I guess he doesn't sell it um because it doesn't come natural either so I'm probably gonna have to build it myself it's it's fine but anyway guys that's the end of this video here I know it doesn't seem like we did much progress and I say that or we did a lot of progress at the end of each Mochar video it's because I'm trying to level myself but that's gonna do it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video